Hey guys, I am at a previous student of mine's farm, Campbell Valley Farms, uh, Heidi Cook, and um, she's just recently bought the paper pot transplanter and she was kind of expressing some frustration with how it's not catching. And uh, she's got a problem where it's just not being buried. And I kind of showed her a simple trick that I want to show you guys. Uh, there's two things here I want to talk about that might be something you run into as a problem right away with the paper pot. And the first thing is, is that you can do an incredible amount of adjustments with this tool simply by pushing down or lifting up. There's sort of a fulcrum point on the paper pot transplanter and by pushing down you're going to lift up the fins and by lifting up you're going to pull down the fins. And I have found for the most part you can do all of your micro adjustments that way. So the problem she's having is twofold. That one thing that I just mentioned more or less solved her problem. But the other problem she's having is that the um, the soil's too soft, really. And so the way you prepare your seed bed is very important. And what's happening here is the seed bed is just way too soft. If she had the soil pushed down a bit more by either using a roller, like a seed bed roller, or running the power harrow and having that pushed down in the bed, that would make a significant difference. So to run this tool at its most effective way, is you really got to have your soil pressed down a little bit. If your soil's too soft, you're going to get this problem where even if you have the right adjustments as far as you're pushing down or pulling up properly to make the whole the the the, the furrow close well, you might end up with this big ga gaping uh, trench because the soil's too soft. And so if you really if you press your soil down well, that's going to make the biggest difference for you. So there's two tools that I can think of that do it, actually three that do it very well. One is if you have a power harrow, it's naturally going to do that. And the, the higher you raise it up, the more weight's going to go on that roller and it's going to push that roller down. The other one is if you're using the precision depth roller, which is the new implement for BCS, the one that I helped uh, come up with. Same thing there, you raise it up, you're going to push that, that, that roller down firmer. Or you could use something like the Johnny seed bed roller and just if you're doing your beds by your tilter then you maybe you run your seed bed roller with some weights on it after that and that's going to push your soil down and make it nice and firm all right guys i hope you found that helpful subscribe to this channel if you haven't and leave questions and comments below so we can continue making good videos for you all right take care